them a chat, but when them see we them fi try, when them send them try to this a me reply. Them fi know say a brother represent your reggae doctor to the fullest, you know. Make it explode and boom them out, you. Your reggae doctor. Oh, clear them, Mr. Javin Jamie. I say half a star. Life is like candle in the wind. So many of my friends them get ruined. Mother, play and ball. Some never listen to the cycle of life take a spin. Cause life is like candle in the wind. So many of my friends them get ruined. Mother, play and ball. Some never listen to the cycle of life take a spin. Let's just read 14 So come to peer pressure Now she start roll mean She been up with many the man in the scheme She no janitor But she sees to it the black clean Mother and all of that was in vain Pass around the table Her dad to play the game She in the fast lane Making a fast game Now the sad story she became So you don't know what's up You feel pull up the Go on it now Afro Star! Well, hear this! Original thing called Afro Star, man! Life is like candle in the wind. So many of my friends them get ruined. Mother, play and ball. Some never listen to the cycle of life, they just spin. Cause life is like candle in the wind. So many of my friends them get ruined. Mother, play and ball. Some never listen to the cycle of life, they just spin. Little Brenda just read 14 So come to peer pressure now she start roll mean She been up with many man in the scheme She no janitor but she sees to it the black clean Mother and all of that was in vain Pass around the table her dad to play the game She in the fast lane making a fast gain Now the sad story she became Candle in the wind So many of my friends them get ruined Mother, play and ball Some never listen to the cycle of life They can spin the last is lost Candle in the wind Some men the young of them get ruined Mother, play and ball Some never listen to the cycle of life They can spin Remember Jimmy long before him get hot But I told you to work start to find the clock Mother, how much of friends that to keep Peer pressure met Jimmy start shell down the street now little Jimmy had dreams like wow Run to high school with subjects like Bad mind take a toll From them seas to Jimmy split Little Jimmy get all Candle in the wind Some men and young friend them get ruined Mother play and ball Some never listen to the cycle of life Take the space Slash, slash Candle in the wind Some men and young Whoa, 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 whoa. Beautiful. Your skin's a lot better. I'll show you guys some of the stuff that we've been using on, on him. Um, just about to get him on, on the kennel coat, which is now going to really sort of just uh, make his skin nice and beautiful. I just love his attitude. He's so nice, so friendly. Um, yeah, that's what we want. We don't want too much fire, do we? Look at those paws. Bloody hell. Abu, Abu. That's right, Abu. I'm the best. Forget the rest. We don't smoke cess and don't need to impress. Fire. I'm loving this dog, man. Excellent. A lot of people like this dog. I've had, I've had a lot of positive comments. You know. Nice top line. You know, you know another thing, an, a, an, another breed characteristics, and you'll see this when I show you Abu as well. Why, why these dogs, in my opinion, you know, qualify as good stud dogs. Um, you know, you should be able to. If I stand back a bit, you should be able to see the uh, the pigment through the skin in the lighter in in a light uh, puppy, in a puppy that's white or light brown or cream. You should be able to see. The hair should be thin enough. That's another sort of, you know, and you've got the sort of, you know, pigmented birth marking 
you know, right throughout the actual uh, body of the dog. And um, I mean, Max, even he has a gold on, he has this as well. So again, um, formulating the bullet cutter world to the breed standard, um, you know, that's another feature in lighter dogs. Obviously in, in dark dogs, to see the pigment is, is, is impossible um, without shaving the dog. Um, but yeah, beautiful. You can see another thing also with this breed is the uh, characteristic type of nails they are there. Um, <laughs> well, the, the nails look ancient, if that, if that makes any sense, you know. Um, he's got really good feet, really, really good feet. Abu! Beautiful. And you know, this dog is, is, is on a ration diet. Um, you know, obviously, we know so much more about, about what happens to Pastons now. You know, didn't, didn't really know a lot first time round. But yeah, you can see Pastons. I, I wouldn't even let them go down now. Talk to us of having to, to work for them to come back up. Beautiful boy. Abu, Abu, Abu. Beautiful dog. Abu. Okay, guys. Um, well, basically, I'm uh, just going to talk to you again. I keep, I keep trying to give you pointers. Um, we got the keepers, keepers mix, which is, uh, you know, I just keep telling everybody the importance of, of using this. Um, whether your dog's got problems or not got problems, right from, you know, young, from eight weeks old, you have the keepers mix in there. You've got a little spatula like that, and all you need is this. And you just sprinkle it, like so. And you can do that once or twice a day, really. Um, and then you've got the uh, evening primrose oil. Again, this is homeopathic. This is fantastic for the skin and coat. Um, again, for um, a dog like Arbu, um, two of these is, is okay. I think you, you probably use one for, uh, let's just confirm, one for, for 10 kg. So two of those are okay. But I'll tell you, one of the best products that um, I've come across is a uh, kennel coat. I, <laughs> I shit you not, if you've got a dog, a horse, a cat, that's got, you know, any type of skin condition, you know, it's got sort of, uh, even during molting, or it's just got skin issues, or their hair just doesn't look glossy, use this kennel coat, and within sort of seven to eight days, you're gonna see like a, a result. It's really, really cheap as well. I've got to say, you know, obviously I get a lot of people and a lot of companies that, that contact me about, you know, do I want to try out these uh, their products? And um, when I received this, it was actually for Trixie. Um, she'd come out of, of quarantine with a, with a brown coat. Um, you know, her skin wasn't brilliant and um, she just didn't look like a black dog. Um, and I think a lot of people that have black dogs, you know, we, we do get concerned when you start seeing brown coming through. Um, so what, what were we going to do? Uh, obviously I could use the uh, Defendex shampoos, I could use a black shampoo but that's cheating. So what I decided to do was try out this kennel coat and it's the best coat product that I've ever bought. I mean using it in conjunction with the evening primrose oil, um, the results are just amazing. So again, I mean you don't need to be clinical about stuff like this but you know as a guideline you can use a cap or uh, a spoonful. Um, and if it's a serious situation, I'd, I'd use this twice a day. And if it's just for uh, coat maintenance, um, I would just um, use it once in one meal, if you're feeding three times a day. Um, normally, I'd feed my puppies only, uh, I would say, twice a day, um, normally. Um, in quarantine, you know, he's been given three meals a day uh, while he, we bulk him up. He did come in quite skinny. Um, and you'll see that, you know, he's, um, he's looking pretty good. Um, and simply, let's mix that all up. We've got a, a bit of chappy in there. I wouldn't normally use chappy, uh, you know, on, on my dogs. Um, I would normally use uh, win a lot. But at the moment, um, we're not going to put him on win a lot um, for probably another two weeks or so. This is what um, what uh, Bambi has. Um, the chappy is, is pretty good. I'm watching his pastons. Win a lot is quite a rich food as well. And I'm using the kibble. Uh, this is Beta Puppy Large Breed. Brilliant stuff. Um, Royal Cannon, very, very good. I've decided um, that um, I, 
you know, <laughs> I have a lot of uh, sort of uh, rep friends in Royal Canning, um, and the food is amazing. But I think the food, the fat content in uh, quarantine, I think generally for this breed, I think it's it's a little bit too much. Um, if you've got a really skinny dog, um, yeah, you know, get them on the Royal Canin. Um, but the beta puppy, in my opinion, is the best. So the dog has a lean body mass. You know, like I keep saying, this dog mustn't be rotund. It mustn't be like a, you know, a pot belly, uh, pot belly pig. So that's it. That's how simple it is. So again, keepers mix, okay? Kennel coat. Honestly, I'm, you know what? I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna have a kennel coat challenge, okay? If you've got a dog that's got skin problems, post a res response on this clip, okay? You can pick this up from the Pooch DVD website, okay? On a money back guarantee. You use this for five to seven days, you will see results. Within 21 days, you will be calling me and saying that I'm the Don Kilimanati. Amazing stuff, evening, evening primrose oil. Anytime anybody has issues, you know what? Just email me. I'm always happy to um to help. So yeah, let's um yeah let's do this. If you've got a dog with a problem, with a skin problem, post a, a response. For, you know, film the the dog. Or if you don't want to film the dog, just get in touch with me and um, let me set this up because I don't want to be the only one that's you know experiencing the fantastic results. You guys try it, and um, you know, like I said, it's a money back guarantee. I'm a man of my words. It will work. Even if your dog doesn't have skin problems and you just want a lovely glossy coat, evening, prim uh, evening primrose oil, kennel coat, incredible. Keepers mix is, is, is as good as fresh air. If you don't use this with your dogs, you're a nutter. I keep saying it, and it's all cheap. All cheap, cheap stuff. I mean that, we're looking at 16 pound a bottle, um, 20, 20, maximum 20 pounds. In fact, I think it's about uh, 16.50, uh, and that's about 9.99. So it's very inexpensive. Um, you know, love your dog the right way. It's not because you're giving your dog brazen steak that makes you a great owner. Anyway, enough waffling. Let's um, let's move on and feed the dog. So here we go. We can see the changes already. So his pills, and this is a quantity he has four times a day. So it's not about the quantity, it's about the quality. So we're just gonna go in and, uh, and get the thing. All right, so again, we've got his meal here, and uh, as he's growing, as he's getting smaller, we've got a stand for him, um, you know, to, to, to eat from. And there should be no food aggression whatsoever from this dog. I put my hand there, I'm gonna stick my hand in the bowl, um, you know. Again, it's just getting the dog used to all this, um, you know, from an early age. Um, so the kennel coat is in there. Um, and you can see his coat. I mean, you know, this is beautiful. Really soft, really silky, supple skin. That's what you want. And it was all red raw before, all red raw. All red raw around the, uh, the elbow area. You know, it's beautiful now. So. I'm going to try and give him a wash. You can still see under the skin that there's a little bit of inflammation. Um, but the kettle coat, that will sort that all out. You know, beautiful. So we're looking at 16, 17 week old puppy. Look at the height, look already. <laughs> it's going to be fantastic. Everybody likes him, you know, everybody likes him. There's a lot of, a lot of praise for this dog. Um, we're going to get some thornet ear powder in his ear today. Um, he's had some already. His ears are nice and clean. Um, I, you know, I just believe in staying on top of it, you know. Because, you know, healing processes, um, instead of the dog using the food to, to grow, um, you know, the dog's using the, the food to repair itself, so, which is a waste. So the dog needs to be in tip-top condition to grow well. This isn't rocket science. I like his crop a lot. Um, I think it's not, not as aggressive as, as some of the crops that are uh, uh, bad. Um, but yeah, this is, this is nice. Um, beautiful. Good boy. Come through, sir. Good boy. You know, 
You're just doing so well. I'm, I'm so proud of you. Right, just to show you again, you know, when, when you do um, feed your dog prop well, you can see this is really, really gross, but remember, when your dog goes into the park, or goes to the toilet, it needs to, be, it needs to be something that's quite easy for you to pick up. Thank you, Abu, you've knocked the food out of my hand. Right, this is the animal in again. This is Jules. Um, you know, very helpful here. Um, I mean, Jesus Christ, guys, this dog, 30 days in, and, and just look at him, you know, it's incredible. Well, so basically, um, what we're doing also is we're gonna, we're gonna treat him with a, uh, a shampoo, um, and then we're going to put some thorny ear powder uh, in his ears. And basically, we only need to do this now, I would say, uh, probably only, I would say once a month is okay, or possibly twice a month. Look at the bone on this dog. The shampoo that we're gonna use is a, is a medicated shampoo. So we're going to start with this shampoo. Uh, again, all of this stuff you can get from uh, the Pooch DVD website. Uh, you can also, um, you know, if you have a specific skin problems, just email me and I'll set up a, a program for you. Um, that if you follow it, you're going to get the results that you want. Okay, excellent. So, good boy. And when you're washing your dogs, you know, it needs to be an enjoyable, uh, you know, sort of process. Um, if the dog doesn't enjoy it, the dog's going to struggle. Um, you know, the breed likes water anyway, um, but from an early age, you want to be getting your, your pups used to being um, handled. I mean, this is just incredible. This dog, 16, 17 weeks old. Um, I'm just amazed. He's so calm, really balanced uh, temperament. Wow. And you see the pigment? Later on, I will show you Baji now. And these two dogs certainly qualify um, you know, to be studs in this breeding program. This dog is, is one of the best dogs I've ever seen. Great head. Um, and just all the characteristics, all the characteristics are coming through. Excellent. Jules, thank you very much. <laughs> Good boy. Already he's a, he's a handful, isn't he? Yes, he is. Huh? Look at you. Beautiful dog. So guys, you can see the, the results. The results are there, it's all working. Jules, is it possible that we, um, we use some of this medicated um, shampoo yeah. all over him? Thank you. Yeah. Jules is very busy today, but as helpful as ever, she's decided that, okay, she'll give me, because you can imagine, it is impossible for me to, um, you know, to, to film this dog and uh, I'm watching at the same time. He really does look like a um, bazoo. Which one do you want the, um, the, the green medicated shampoo on top, on to, uh, across? This one? Yes, please. So guys, you know, you've been given a lot of tips and I'm just pretty much just sick and tired of going for walks and seeing dogs in really sort of, well, shit condition. There's no need for it, you know. All these like little things that you can do will make you appreciate your dog more. In fact, it's a way of bonding, you know. I mean, I've always living it up. Human beings, you know, we're spending hundreds if not thousands going to spas. Look at him, he's just been catered for, he's just had his food. You know, sometimes I wish I was in quarantine, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of an exaggeration here. <laughs> Excellent. Well done, boy. And just continuously sort of praise the dog. You can see sort of hot spot areas, problem areas um, that we're dealing with. And the kennel coat, that will, that will certainly, certainly help. Remarkably, um, remarkably calm. A lot of times you wouldn't, you wouldn't actually wash the face of the dog, but in, in this case we are going to wash his face as well, his neck area, because he has got certain, certain hot spots around his neck that we're going to, uh, we're going to deal with. But a lot, once you're using the proper shampoos, it shouldn't be a problem at all. You're a good boy. This is, uh, this is fantastic. He's going to be massive. Absolutely massive. I, mean, I, I didn't even put him on the Royal Cannon food because he'll just grow too quickly. 
Good boy. Good boy. So his, his face area could be the, the trouble area. But the most important thing is, you know, you can do this outside. It doesn't have to be in a, in a bath. I mean, I do mine outside. But the most important thing is, if you watch how Jules, she's very calm with the dog. She's very gentle, um, massaging the body. And you can see all the pigmentation. Um, you know, and I keep saying, with this breed, um, I think with white dogs and sort of light skin, uh, light uh, coated dogs, when they're wet, you should see a pigment. It's, it's a characteristic. Um, you know, so we're not just looking at attitude, bone, head shape. Um, you know, there's certain characteristics where online people call me and say, oh Ben, there's some bully cutter puppies for sale. But you guys have seen enough of these clips that when you see these bullshit clips, you can start to quest, you know, ask the guy questions and say, well, what do you mean about this being a, a bully cutter? Why is the coat like this? Why is the head like that? Uh, and, 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 you know, soon, people start putting up bogus ads. Um, I think you'd have to be extremely naive to think someone would be offering you uh, a pure bully cutter puppy for 400 pounds. Um, you know, if I was offering my pups a 400, I'd rather give them, give them to people than, than devalue the breed like that. Um, so don't think a bargain is, is a bargain. A bargain isn't what you want. So just sort of pay attention to, uh, to what people are offering you. As far as I know, uh, I think that there is Masu, he's got his dogs in quarantine, um, Mr. Hussein and Omar, who also has his dogs in quarantine, and myself, you know. Um, and I certainly won't be, you know, crossing my, my dogs randomly, I don't, I don't think they will be as well. Excellent. Beautiful. <laughs> so, again, if we, uh, Jules, if we can just open the ear of the, of the dog. You can see that the ear is nice and clean, but I'm going to show you, um, I'm not sure if Jules has used this before, but this uh, thorned ear powder, when he came in, I treated him immediately, um, and we're just going to dry him, and then we're going to put some um, thorned ear powder um, in his ears, and that's all you need to do. I mean, normally, we wouldn't want to put a dog like Abu high up like that, because obviously he's all over the place, but again, you know, as a dog gets used to it, um, you know, he'll, he will be a lot calmer. So, I mean, this dog is, is just incredible. You know, honestly, I don't know how this is coming out, uh, but the dog is absolutely magnificent. So again, a lot of these shampoos you get from, um, from um, the, the Pooch uh, DVD website. Um, you know, this dog is to be campaigned, so there's no expense spared on, on, on his upkeep. Um, no expense spared. He looks beautiful. Thank you very much, Jules. No problem. Excellent. You're going to get to get on the floor so I can dry it properly. <laughs> he's all over the place. Just so energetic. You know, he's going to produce some really beautiful, yeah. uh, beautiful puppies. And just sort of um, a big up to Masu, um, real deal. Um, there, you know, people try to cause some, some friction between me and Masu. He's got the type of dogs that he likes and I've got the type of, of dogs that I like. And, um, you know, I appreciate, I appreciate the, the phone call. And I'd just like to say to, to Omar uh, and Mr. Hussein, you know, guys, we must keep harmony uh, if we want this breed um, to go where we want it to go. Right, okay, so let's get him on the floor. All right, beautiful. So, <laughs> there, there he is on the floor. So we're not worrying too much. If you've got a good quarantine kennel, um, and this is what I keep saying, don't worry if you have to travel. I mean, I'm traveling 60 miles each way. That's 120 miles um, to, um, to, to, to see my dogs. Um, but I've used this place for five years. I think I bought, imported probably 12, 13 dogs. Um, you know, imported the Ochakas through here, and they never let me down, you know. Um, I've got to say where I had Max, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't happy. And um, I'm not trying to create slander, but I certainly wasn't getting this type of service. <laughs> Beautiful, it's so lovely. It's almost, I'm almost imagining that he's at home with me. Um, so you can see from an early age, he's used to being washed and by the time he comes out, Abu. nothing's gonna be Abu. an issue for him. Abu. And I gotta say, Abu, considering I, I hardly see him, he has really bonded with me. 
Um, he does know that I'm the main man. This is my wonder boy. We wouldn't even need it with him, really. No, I, no, I wouldn't even. I uh, think that it, <laughs> you can see you can see the care, the care and attention. They're even going to use a blow dryer, you know, on, on the dog. It's just fantastic. But I think it's, it is reasonably warm. You'll dry quite quickly. Um, no, that's. I'm, I'm always happy with what you guys do. Always happy. Yeah. Well, you just want to play with the towel. Yeah. So what we'll do then now, the final part is the fauna ear powder, guys. You'll be, you know, you're going to see how it's administered. Use it on your puppies. Use it on your adult dogs. The result is a dog that has absolutely no, no worries with its ears. Absolutely no worries with its ears. So, luckily Jules has used this before. What do you think of the product? I think that's really good. I used to use it in the kennels on the um, Cavalry King Charles and it is absolutely brilliant stuff. Once you, once you administer it, you don't have any problems with At the all. Ears. Isn't it better than all the sort of liquid stuff that they ask yeah. you to? Know? Yeah, it dries the ear out and really you have, I don't, I don't, unless the dog's got another condition, I don't know any dog um, that when you use sort of ear powder on it, uh, the dog has any issues. No, so, no, it's really good. Excellent. So, right. are you comfortable in administering it for him? I'll get in his ear. Uh, okay. How much do you want? Um, I would say that we'll put half a, uh, a, um, half a cup, cup full in each ear. So, you just tip it in like that. Okay. That, uh, yeah, that's fine. That's enough, and we got his ear. Good boy. Then immediately cover his yes. Immediately cover his ears like that. Hold it for a few seconds. Good boy. And the dog, the dog. Once you've started doing this from an early age, the dog will get used to it. So, good boy. So that's the administration of the thorn in the ear powder. Good boy. And just make sure you hold it for about 30 seconds because obviously the natural instinct is to... Um... Okay, good boy. So we got the, we got the other ear. I'm going to hold him still. We got tilt, it, tilt the head round. Good boy, good boy. Good boy, good boy. Good boy, good boy. Good boy. So there we go. There we go. If we open the ear up, you'll see where it's going. Yeah. Lovely. We just tilt the head round just a little bit. That's it. Let it go all down. Excellent. Good boy. Brilliant stuff. Inexpensive. This will be shipped all over the world from Pooch DVD. Again, money back guarantee. You've got to use this stuff. You know, you got seven, eight hundred thousand people watching the Pooch DVD clips. Um, and you know, you've either got dogs or you love dogs. If you've got dogs, all the things that you're seeing, you can see the results. You've got a happy, healthy dog. A happy, healthy dog. And this will be sent to you all over the world. Fantastic.